is going on YouTube? Today we're going to do a special series. I'm going to start doing this on uh, Saturdays. NXT burials of the black and gold. I was thinking about doing this just to pay a little respect to the talent that they did have that they just completely wasted on the main roster. So today, poor Ricochet will be number one. I hope and hope and hope he does not be a fool and re-sign with WWE. I know it's everybody's dream to work for Vance and Bruce and Kevin Dunn, but look how they're treating him. Since he's been on the main roster, the intro change, pew, 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 pew. You know, he doesn't look special anymore. They treat him like a complete loser. And just like when they put him in that little uh, stunt with Brock, how long did he last? 90 fucking seconds? I mean, come on, give me a break. This guy should have had several, several titles. Excuse me. He should have had several championships by now. At least mid-card. Tag team. Something. I mean, this guy had so much talent. Yeah, he, he's not that great on the microphone. He's not that great of a talker. But he can wrestle. And they probably said, oh, well, we already got other guys that can do some of the things he's done. So what do we need him for? Well, whose fault was that? When you had him as something special, you you buried him. And the guy keeps staying with the company, and I don't fucking know why. Why do you trust these people? They're fucking idiots. But I, I, I don't know when Ricochet's contract's up. A lot of contracts are coming up next year. So we'll see. I think he would fit better in AEW. I think they would use his talents more. Because the guy can wrestle just like a lot of them can. But then they might put him in a faction or who knows. There, there's too many fucking factions on that show. That's the biggest problem I, I have with AEW. It's getting too much like WCW back in the day. But I do love it. They do put on good shows and that's why I keep watching. But Ricochet... I, I hope does not resign with them. I know I said that already, but I really hope Ricochet does not resign with WWE. The guy has too much talent. He was even North American champion. I mean, how can he fuck that up? How can he fuck that up so bad? And then they have him one week coming out in, you know, like, what was it, black, black pants and that's it. Next week, next few weeks, he's in his ring gear. You don't know what the guy's wearing. It's, they changed so much about him. I'm surprised he kept his fucking name. And not call him Rico or something. <laughs> I don't fucking know with these people. They changed everything about Triple H's NXT. It's not his fault because you guys put him up against AEW. That was bound to fail to begin with. But nobody's talking about that. No one wants to remember that. AEW kicked their ass every single week. Except for maybe like five. When they did some hotshot booking just to beat AEW. Yeah, I remember. Vince. I remember. Bruce. And... Kevin Dunn. <laughs> I remember, man. But, oh my goodness. These people think we're stupid and we forget. But Ricochet... I'd, I just want to see him succeed. He can get better on a microphone if he's with the right people. That only takes practice, but they don't give him... Now he's in there with fucking King Woods. Barely saying a word. Looking back there looking back there like a stupid fucking moron. Ah, there's going to be a lot of these videos coming out. Believe me. Like, I miss the black and gold. I used to love it. But now it's just like, I don't give a shit about 2.0. Who they got other than Bronson Breaker? I mean, Cameron Grimes is okay. But other than that, it's, it's like I'm not into it. Just I really hope they he goes somewhere else. It doesn't have to be AEW. Go somewhere where your talents can be appreciated. I mean, you got impact. You know, they would actually probably feature him more. To be honest, I think he, impact would be a better start for him. And then maybe try to go to AEW after he gets his feet wet over there but uh, the poor guy man all he wants to do is wrestle and they treat him like garbage he's been a, he's like catering's biggest fan <laughs> I'm just like dude, how could you say that man he, he does get TV time yeah but he never wins 
He hardly gets a win. He hasn't had a title in how long? I mean, they think so little of him. They think so little of poor Ricochet. And the guy can do flips, he can do dives. I mean, he actually can do a suicide dive correctly. Unlike some of them that just, oh, it looks horrible. Love you, Seth Rollins, but your suicide dive is terrible. That's the only complaint I have about you. Other, every, other than that, you're killing it. <laughs> but Ricochet does the moves correctly. And there's once upon a time where we were all thinking he's going to be a major player on the main roster. They got something new. They got something different. This guy can go. He just needs a little work on the mic. Maybe stick him with Paul Heyman for a couple of months so he can teach him how to get better. I mean, they have so many resources in that company and they just don't use them. Unless they want to push him. If they don't want to push you, forget about it. Oh, go have a free dinner at Titus Catering and uh, call Dana Brooke to fix you up something nice and, and fancy. It, it's ridiculous with these people. It really is. And watch they try to, to, to get him to stay. They'll like give him an IC title run or something before his contract's up. Because Vince isn't going to want everybody going to AEW. He's not going to allow that. So we'll see. I, I just hope for success for Ricochet. He does have a lot to give. It's just a shame they've done. They they completely wasted him. They completely wasted that poor guy. And all he does is try and stay loyal. And there comes a point in time in your life where you can't be loyal. You have to do what's best for you. And just be. It doesn't make you a bad person. That's what people think too much. Oh, if I quit, I'm a bad person. No, if you're see for yourself that they're never going to use you then it's okay to look for something else you don't want to spend your whole life being in catering if you're meant to wrestle there's other options now more than ever for you to go to so hopefully he makes the right choice when his contract is due up i'll try to find out when that is but i hope you guys like this little special of nxt black and gold this is part one of ricochet love you guys please leave a like comment and subscribe wow i actually went quite a while on this video <laughs> but love you guys take care and i'll see you back for monday night raw on monday i think this is going to be it until then because this is my fourth video in two days but love you guys take care on youtube peace out brother